Welcome back to the 2020 Macabre Month of Horror. If you're new here, consider subscribing and checking out the full Macabre Month of Horror playlist. Today's review is for the 2017 Estonian horror film, November. November is the only Estonian film I've seen thus far, but I do find the history of cinema in Estonia quite interesting. Estonia has a pretty small film industry, and the country was a part of the Soviet Union for many years, which held control over all film productions, and meant that their cinematic output for decades consisted of little more than propaganda films. Storytelling independence arrived in 1991 with the fall of the Soviet Union, but production costs proved so exorbitant that they became a high barrier to entry, resulting in years like 1996, where not a single narrative film was produced. In the time since, the Estonian Film Foundation has come into existence, and the country's cinematic output is on the uptick. Okay, history lesson over. <laughs> November is set in a dirt poor village where magic is plentiful and love is sparse. The plot is actually quite thin and focuses primarily on a simple love triangle. A village girl loves a village boy who loves the rich German baroness who lives in the setting's only opulent home, a massive manor presiding over the lands. November is based on a novel which was itself based upon a number of Estonian myths and folkloric tales. I would like to read the novel, but I'm actually not even sure if an English translation exists at this point. I tried looking around for one and I didn't dig anything up. Interestingly though, the novel is described as being primarily a satire and reviews call it hilarious, while the same cannot be said of the film. There's maybe a little social commentary in the film on the matters of religion and colonialism, but it remains at a fairly surface level. There are definitely some moments of black comedy, but not so much as to be particularly noteworthy. Like, I think it would be ridiculous to call this movie a comedy. The plot is quite thin, but where November excels is in the setting, the mythology, and the cinematography. November is gorgeously shot in moody black and white. The film is full of excellent visual storytelling. There's not a single wasted shot. It goes beyond top-notch lighting and camera work. The compositions are more often than not stunning, and the subject matter of these shots is frequently unlike anything you've ever seen before. There are a number of shots that I can picture clearly in my head even days after watching the film. The excellent production design adds to the visual aesthetic of the film as well. I love how grimy everything looks and how low the ceiling of the main house is. People have to like crouch walk around and stuff, it's great. But by far my favorite aspect of the film is the Kratz. What are Kratz, you may be asking? These. These are Kratz and they are Fucking awesome. I want more Kratz, goddammit. More Kratz in this movie. More Kratz in other movies. I desperately want David Lynch to make something with Kratz in it. Oh my god, it would be incredible. I love the design. I love the way they move. I love their purpose and the fact that they need a soul to be purchased, to imbue them with. Everything about them is just great and so fascinating. November starts with the most captivating opening scene I have witnessed in quite some time. The first five minutes of this film are perfect. And they got me hooked. When the first crowd appeared, I promptly said, what the fuck, followed closely by, holy shit. <laughs> the film never quite reached that same level of enjoyment as the opening scene did for me. It sort of peaked right at the beginning, but that doesn't at all mean that the rest of the film isn't great too. It just speaks to how incredible that opening is. And I would have liked the crats to be more central to the plot, more present. You can watch this opening scene and know right away if this is a film for you or not. <laughs> this 
and it's too weird for you, then fair game, I suppose. You can bow out at that point, because if this doesn't do it for you, then November is just not a film for you. And I think it will be too strange of a film for a lot of general audiences. I found its weirdness captivating, but I know plenty of people who would be turned off by all of November's inherent eccentricities. Soaking in this world and all of the Estonian folklore was fascinating to me. I really liked November and I fully recommend it if it sounds like your kind of thing. I would say I loved it, but I was missing one thing. More Kratz, of course. Give me more Kratz, goddammit. I'm not dead. Thanks for watching. Be sure to stick around for the rest of the 2020 Macabre Month of Horror and subscribe if you aren't already. And you can check out the previous year's Macabre Months of Horror. Thanks for watching. Bye.